In this tutorial, we are going to learn how to use the autocomplete text field control. So first of all, go to the main activity dot XMS graphical layout text fields. Just use autocomplete, just drag and drop over here. Here it will just remove the text. If you want to display any text, you can place it here. The autocomplete text view provides us a property which is completion threshold, which means you have to specify the integer value. We here we pass the two, so it will shows you the com suggestions after the two characters in the autocomplete text view. If you want to increase with 3 or 4 as per your requirement you can use it. But remember it will use the only integer values. Here we are using the 2. So after the 2 characters we want to show the suggestions from the autocomplete text view. You might have seen in YouTube search text field or Google text field it, you are same the auto completion suggestions over there that way we can use this control so first of all use the auto complete text view class ectv variable control shift f string After that, register your autocomplete text view control. Typecast. So it will know which control you are binding or assigning to the autocomplete text view class variable. If you don't save, save put a complete text. After that, binding auto complete text view control. Okay, here we have forgotten the add adapter. As you know, this keyboard is used for the displaying the contents. Here you can use simple drop down list item, simple expandable as per your needs or whichever you want. You can also use the simple spinner drop down item or anything.
after that you can run directly to me See, it will show you the suggestions as a simple drop down. See, it will show you the number of suggestions as we have mentioned in add adapters. Suppose you anyone wants to show the over here hint or here, let's say how to do it. So this will provide us the facility of completion hint and simple hint So right click on it here Android hint will shows you the starting point in the autocomplete text view and the completion hint shows you the in drop down list as we seen earlier. Let's see we are running our applications and don't forget to mention the threshold with integer values whichever you want this way let's see the difference between hint and completion hint see this completion hint su suggestions shows after the two characters over here we have written in hint this way it will show you the over here the suggestions And the completion here shows you the in drop down view after two mm -hmm. character completion. This way, you can deal with autocomplete text view control. Thank you for watching video. Subscribe us on YouTube.